musicians and music festivals have played a role in growing our brand to what it's become today. So we've got a natural affinity to work with organisations like TSO. When Adam asked us to be part of the 150th anniversary campaign, my initial thought was, gee, I hope we can deliver on this. Obviously we are capable of and can play the music written for any advertisement or campaign, but to be involved from the very beginning was, was different. We had this idea that, wow, let's make music together to celebrate 150, but let's use it as this platform to help someone of the next generation to give them an amazing opportunity. Simon actually rang me up one day and said, Saxon, we're just very impressed by what you do and we'd like to offer you this um, as we're looking for a young composer to take on this role. So we had a workshop and we involved Simon and Saxon with all of the creative team involved at Blondstone and we talked about what emotions were involved in Blundstone, what the character of Blundstone as a brand was. There was uh, words thrown around such as gritty, iconic, you know, fundamental, and I had to take what people were saying and, and sort of musically interpret that. When composing, I kind of just, I, I did what I thought felt right first. And he almost immediately got it right. So his first couple of drafts, which could have been wildly off target, I think pretty much fulfilled the brief straight away. The recording process for us for this project was quite unique. We have a lot of experience in recording. We do several a year, but even this was really high pressure for us. And it was unique in that it had some musical challenges. There was a, a section, which you'll hear in the, in the file, where it gets a lot faster very quickly. So that, that was a musical challenge. I had incorporated a MIDI piano and a MIDI drum kit underneath it. Um, and the orchestra had to go perfectly in time with that. And there was no leeway for any human tempo drift. That's what made it really, really challenging. Just to give an indication of how challenging it was, in that amount of time in an orchestral call, we would normally record about eight minutes worth of music and we recorded one minute and 10 seconds. We were waiting on the edge of our chairs for weeks for that piece of music um, and it brings tears to my eyes every, every single time I listen to it. Um, probably because I know what went into creating it, but also how incredibly well they struck the sort of cadence or the rhythm that fits the story of our history. It was perfectly what I wanted it to be. And I was just really, really happy with how the whole thing came together. The music that we've ended up with here, combined with our video, adds a whole emotional layer to watching a set of images that are about the history and a set of words um, that wouldn't be the same without the music. For 150 years, we've been warned by those who never took the easy way, the easy option, or made an easy choice. We were with them when they went to war and rallied for peace. We've helped win battles, turn heads, and rub what's possible in impossible's face. Years have been kind to us, even if the people who wear us haven't. We've been tested on every stage, by every generation, in every corner of the world. History's given you some pretty tough boots to fill. How you fill them? That's up to you.